based on the inverse of a matrix inverse of a square matrix if it exists is unique inverse of a square matrix if we have a square matrix and this square matrix is exist then its inverse is unique means only one and one uh, one and only one inverse the matrix a has okay let find proof of this we suppose a matrix a which is a square matrix of order m if possible let b and c c are two inverse let we suppose that we have two inverts b and c of a clear so first let b is a inverse of a so we know that condition what the product of ab is must be equal to the product of ba is equal to identity matrix will we uh, support that question number 1 again since c is also an inverse of matrix a then ac is equal to ca is equal to i clear we let it equation second now we have two method to find out this we can write it as b is equal to ib so we can write b is equal to i can be written as from equation second from second i is equal to what ac so we'll write it ac now <coughs> it is commutative so we can write it as ab into c and what is ab from equation first we get i so b is equal to ic and identity matrix is multiplying by any matrix so we get the same result so b is equal to what now c it means the both are not a different matrix they both are same matrix so what we have uh, our theorem our theorem is every matrix has only one and one inverse so we are letting them b and c are two different matrix but finally we prove that they both are not different they are a same matrix so that's why we prove that theorem one of this inverse of matrix theorem 2 if a and b are invertible matrix of the same order then a b inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse now we have to prove that for proof we have to prove that pre multiplying by a inverse now uh, in first of these two we can multiply by a inverse pre multi pre inverse pre means first we multiplying pre multiplying a inverse so now we multiply uh, by a inverse so we can take this together so we know that a multiplying of any matrix with its inverse we get identity so b is remaining them as it is now identity matrix with any matrix we get what the same matrix now this is identity matrix now identity matrix is multiplying by any matrix we get the same matrix similarly in this case we let the equation first again pre multiplying by the uh, b inverse in equation first so now what is uh, equation first this is equation first so we are multiplying pre multiplying very important pre multiplying means first uh, before all of these letters now we have b inverse into this again b inverse into a <coughs> inverse okay. again b inverse the inverse of any matrix with the same matrix we get identity and identity matrix is multiplying by any number anything else we get the same number or same result so now we can we prove that ab inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse so this is your equation second